So there's this old-fashioned rule that claims you can't wear white after Labor Day. Well, that rule is dumb and you can definitely wear white in the colder months. I love monochromatic looks, so for my summer outfit, I decided to do an all-white cream outfit. I'm wearing this cream-colored button-up with puffy sleeves and the pattern holes make it airy and perfect for summer. For my bottoms, I'm wearing these white flowy culottes. And I wanted to add a bit of contrast to the dramatic shapes on my body, so I slipped on these two-tone flats. The pointed toe gives it a more dainty and feminine feel. I also put my hair up in a ponytail so it doesn't look like there's too much going on. For accessories, I added these gold rimmed sunnies and gold heart earrings to match. Woven textures scream summer. It reminds me of picnics out in the park or at the beach. So this small woven bag is a quintessential part in making this outfit summery. Fit we need to take care of these two cents. Sometimes the truth spent, so I say it truthfully. So hold your love. My fall outfit has a totally different vibe from my summer one, but if you look closely, I'm actually using the same top and bottoms as a base to layer on my other pieces. Outerwear are total game changers, and they can take your outfits to a whole new level. So I chose this oversized cream blazer to match with my top. For shoes, I switched out my flats for these neutral trainers, and even though these shoes aren't as dainty, it pairs well with a boxy blazer. I switched out the woven bag for a more warm tone one. The combination of the color, the plaid, and the pleather texture add more of a fall vibe to my outfit. I'm wearing my hair down to give my neck some warmth and decided to use the same earrings. I used to not like buying dresses because I thought they were only useful in the summer. Once fall rolls around, I have to retire it until next year. But I'm going to show you how you can make your picnic dress more fall appropriate. I love how easy it is to style a dress in the summer. You literally just slap it on and go. Here I'm wearing a gingham baby doll dress. The shapeless silhouette is perfect because it's easy breezy and you can eat all the ice cream and barbecue you want and nobody will be able to tell. I paired it with these black sandals and the same woven bag from my previous outfit to keep things simple. And for my hair, I decided to braid it into two pigtails and put on these green and gold earrings for a hint of color. Gingham is one of my favorite patterns because it is so versatile. It works well with all seasons. In the warmer months, it can be seen as a picnic dress, and in the colder months, you'll see it all over scarves, blazers, and bucket hats. Here I made the dress fitting for fall by layering a cropped khaki jacket, a matching beanie, and some knee-high boots with a heel for some length. I switched out the bag for this black one to match the boots and kept my earrings the same. Button-up bosses are a summer staple. The collar dresses up any outfit when it's too hot to put in effort but that also makes it ideal for layering in the fall. So I'm wearing this striped tan button down blouse with a pocket because everyone loves pockets and I paired it with these khaki trousers to stay in the same color scheme. I belted it up to tie the look together and slipped on these black woven sandals. I'm using this black bag to match my belt and shoes, and instead of earrings, I thought a necklace would go well with the shirt since the neck is more exposed. There are so many ways you can layer with a button-up shirt, but my favorite way is wearing a sweater over it. It makes you look chic and put together. I put on this cream sweater with a vertical knit design that I thought would go perfectly with my striped shirt. And I swapped the light pants for a more heavy duty one. These wide leg jeans are great for wearing in the colder months. I slipped on these pointed loafers to make this casual look a bit more sophisticated and kept the same bag to match. 
To dress this look up a bit more, I added some cute barrettes in my hair. I used to feel a bit shy wearing bagger shirts out in public, but they've totally grown on me. I wanted to challenge myself to style these for the colder months. Biker shorts are ideal for the summer. They're super comfy and easy to style. Here I'm wearing it in the most basic way anyone could wear it with an oversized tee and some sneakers. Even though my outfit is super laid back, I wanted to have a graphic on my tee to add some personality. This one says, wait what on it? And I thought it was funny because like, if you know me at all, <laughs> you know that I say that a lot. The good thing about biker shorts is that they're cheap and super accessible. I'm just wearing these plain black ones that I grabbed for like $3. For my shoes, I'm wearing these white tennis shoes from Tommy Hilfiger and this black fanny pack type of bag from the same brand. I just tied up my hair and put on a gold chain to make it more interesting. I don't really want to reminisce. Tell me what you want to get from this. Okay, so it was kind of challenging trying to style this for the fall, but I just imagined what I would wear with a tight mini skirt because that's like the closest thing to the silhouette of biker shorts in my opinion. I decided to wear this peplum sweater for my top because the shape really defines your waist and it gives it more structure. It also has these really cool embellishments that can act as an accessory to a plain black outfit. I also threw on this black denim jacket that I actually cropped myself and it surprisingly turned out pretty good. So. Let me know if you want a video on how to crop your denim jackets. For my shoes, I wanted to try something different and wear biker shorts with boots instead of the typical sneaker. So I'm wearing these glossy combat boots for some shine. I'm using the same fanny pack and to match with the silver rings on my shirt, I put on this silver chain choker. Get from this.